Hi friends, greetings from Dr. M. V. Rao. Today I am going to tell you something which is very interesting in organic farming. This is our own experience. We have raised a model field in about an acre of land of Chile and uh, the first year there was no spray and no chemicals were used. Everything was organic. In the second year also, similarly we followed the same principle and practice of using natural uh, extracts and uh, without any agrochemicals with the neem and uh, earthworm compost and uh, such sort of natural compost we have used for this as uh, manures and uh, both of these years we found the pesticide residues to be quite compliant with the standards rather almost in the second year there were no pesticides that were detected we followed all the practices of uh, the non-pesticide management farming or the organic farming so i'll briefly show you what all the practices uh, that we have followed for this uh, in this uh, three years and as the third year has come there were, there were absolutely no pesticide residues either in the soil or on the plant or in the chilies in the product it has become totally organic and the best part of it is earthworms started coming out from the soil this is a very interesting phenomenon and very interesting observation because earthworms are very sensitive they are very farmer friendly and they cannot withstand any of the pesticides so literally it is not uh, from the manure or something like that that the earthworms uh, have come from they have made burrows here and there and i'll show you in one of the video clips how the earthworms are moving in the earthworm was moving in the field so this shows that earthworms probably can be used or can be uh, rather treated as uh, indicator organisms for organic farming. So in the forthcoming uh, pictures and the videos, you'll, sh you'll see the details and uh, thank you. This is a small facility of earthworm manure production. It should be a shed which is cool enough so that the worms get optimal temperature to grow. The sides of the shed are covered with a net. This is important because earthworms are protected from birds and cranes. There are a number of pits within the shed in which cow dung is filled. This is the inside of the shed showing the pits and the cow dung heaps. There should be enough water for earthworms to grow always. Here this is a drip irrigation that is put into the burrows of earthworms. Earthworms go inside the burrows and yield highly nitrogenous vermicompost. The compost on the surface is collected and dried and thereafter it is screened to give vermicompost for manure. Now coming to chili farming, we used no chemicals or pesticides. The seeds were treated with organic extracts. Weeds were removed manually, but no weedicides were used. As manure, only vermicompost 
and cow dung were used for the field. Only natural plant extracts were used to control the insects. The final result was a true organic chili without any pesticide residue traces and with a good yield. In the third year, as a routine, in the beginning of the season, the soil has been tested for organochlorine, organophosphorus, organonitrogen, carbamates and other pesticide residues. The soil was found to be free from all these. Earthworms started making their appearance in the field. So earthworms perhaps can be some indicators that the soil is purified and free from pesticides and other chemicals. This is very much helpful in organic farming if this happens to be the case everywhere. Please subscribe. Thank you.